Good morning, everybody. I would like to invite you to go and visit my website as you see the address on the screen. As a church, it is so important to continue the Word of God. Acts 2 verse 42 speaks of that they steadfastly continued in the Apostles' doctrine, in fellowship, in breaking of bread, and in prayer. And as a church, we are not stopping having church. We are continuing with the only difference that now it is taking place within your homes and in your families. See, the enemy knew that if Daniel wasn't going to pray for the next 30 days, that he would spiritually die. And in this lockdown, I want to tell you that if you are not going to be actively involved in church through the media, it will do damage within your spiritual life, within your family. So we are inviting each and everyone, whether you are in our church, in our town, we have people as far as Mozambique that is joining in every Sunday morning, having church with us. If you are those people having church with us Sunday mornings at 9, and now we're going to do our devotionals weekly at 6 o'clock on Wednesday nights, for those who want to have family cell at that time, then please press the subscribe button that you can receive the notifications of the, uh, the, the sermons and the devotionals when they premiere. And also go on the website to the Lockdown Church page. And you will see on the right hand side there stands register my FGCC at home. Complete the form for us. We will receive it. And once we receive that form, we know to pray for your family. We WhatsApp you the messages every Sunday and the devotionals as well in a smaller format. For this purpose, do not keep it to yourself, but to send it to as many people as you can on your list, on your contact list, on your phone, to encourage them in this time. And if they would also like to become part of the My FGCC at Home, please encourage them to register that we can know and this is what we are doing when we have our services on a Sunday, even though it is through YouTube. You get your family together. You get out of bed. Make sure you have eaten breakfast. Everyone is dressed. Don't sit around the table and eat breakfast while you have service. Go in your living room and create an atmosphere as you would have been in the church. Stand up. Praise with us, worship with us, participate in the sermon by saying amen and yes, by when we are doing declarations, by doing it with us, by praying with us, having your pen and your notebook ready, making notes so that you can discuss the word again. Therefore, when you have full participation of that service, and I do this as well, every Sunday I attend my own service in my house with my family and you know i really experience the joy and the presence and the upliftment of the holy spirit within our home i want to encourage you don't keep this to yourself get as many friends as possible and let them join in come and register and become part of church so that you can grow and that you can move forward and as i said you don't have to be in our town so what we will do is even after lockdown we will still continue with this so that even if you are not a member physically here at the church that wherever you are whether it's in mozambique in brazil in in germany it doesn't matter wherever you are we will continue sending you the whatsapps you will continue receiving the youtubes so that you can grow and you are welcome to look on this website at free resources i've created there for you care resources it is articles where you can read more about things like uh, forgiveness idolatry rejection uh, suicide or, or or gambling many people have questions about that but i have also put on growth resources full resources about fasting and praying how to do a proper fast the power in the name of jesus power in the blood of jesus the calling of the husband and the wife uh, where are the dead part one and two and you can have those resources and many more so you are welcome to join us and i truly hope that i hear from you i truly hope that i see your registrations and I truly pray for you that in this time, when lockdown is over, that you would have grown in the Lord and have become stronger than you have been before. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you.